quick update of the 3000 GT, the Momo edition. Um, yesterday, my brother came by and uh, he helped me uh, bring it in the garage. So me, him, my son, Tanoa, and Wesley, um, bring it in the garage. Either boy couldn't help because of uh, his injury, his injury from the football game. So we got it in the garage. And today, we're gonna start the first day of repairing this 3000 GT and restoring this 3000 GT. Hopefully it's not a long process, but it's gonna be a lot of work. So we got it in here. Oh, as well, we cleaned the garage yesterday, so do away hell of shit. Got it up in here. Just a little quick reference before we start on the shit. How it is. Shields for the most part are pretty good. They give them a good cleaning, it makes a big difference on the whole look of the car. Mm -hmm. Quick reference, quick reference. Yeah. Alright. Yes. More addition wheels. I'm not gonna lie, this shit's flying, man. When we first pulled up, my wife was like, fuck that, that shit. Mold all over it and that shit looks old. I was like, man, that's just a classic watch from the hella dog. I might give it to my son so that way if they get older, they can sell it. Or keep it either one. And that's just that's just off the muscle, that's just from a car wash, you know, just pressure washing and all that sunspot uh, residue off and sunspot mold, all that mold and shit, just taking all that off, all that dirt, that gun from just sitting there for like, you know, I think 20 some years, but in that parking lot, it would have been sitting for 20 some years, but it was been in that parking lot for like, I think 10 some years in the same spot and then he moved it to another spot, so, Update, you know, that's how the panels look. I mean, it's, it's in good shape for a 95. That's a lot of years passed by, you know. It's all this shit. Stand well. If you didn't look at the other video, this shit has a hundred thousand miles on it. 100,531 miles on it, so that's pretty fucking good. And uh, it came out in 95, as you know. And uh, it got sent to the Momo Manufacturing Headquarters. And why Mitsubishi did that is because they wanted to make this the only Momo Edition 3000 GT. So I didn't fucking know that, but just knowing that, that shit just makes me even more fucking happy about the purchase. Right here is... Texas label, because of course we're in the great state of motherfucking Texas, you know what I mean? Uh, I was born and raised in California, but, you know, Texas is cool. So that's that. Um, got all our liquids for it, growing oil, all the shit, all the stuff. Got some extra armor and paint, brake fluid, and then uh, the sea foam when we get to that part. We got CHF fluid just in case it has any fluid, like, you know, um, you don't have to refill on that shit. We organized our tools yesterday. Uh -huh. Got the battery, so we're ready to start it. All our tools is organized, ready to go, man. How you gotta do it when you're about to do a restoration or repair job. You gotta have everything out to where you can see which tool you're, you're trying to grab. Having that shit in the bag, that shit's for the birds. You're gonna be looking for a fucking 10 millimeter something forever. Oh, it's just fucking honest. Ready to crack this shit off. Oh shit, if I was like birds and farts, I'd be saying crack that shit off, but you know, the elevation is, is needed. 
So yeah, man. Uh, whoever said uh, a game member can't progress, man, that's just bullshit. You know that tag they put on game members about, oh, they just do bad. It's, now they do good too. You know they conquer good too. You know before I die, I want to conquer some good. You know that's how I talk to all my my family and they once. Like man, we gotta conquer some good after all the. You know, shit, we've done it. it. wasn't bad shit, like, you know, that shit was all right, just trying to feed and protect your family back then, you know? There ain't, ain't nothing no righteous about that. That shit's straight righteous. That's good-hearted people. You know, people that care about the people they, they function with. So, here we are, Congress and Good. This is our 25th um, restoration and repair project. Man, I'm gonna love this one. I love it because this is the 90s classic as far as sports vehicles go. We took some notes. I don't know if you watched the last video, but this is to create our own ignition system because pretty much all the wires and shit is pretty much shot. You know what I mean? So we're going to repair all that shit. Engine, take that shit out. And, uh, you know, just give this give this uh, 3000 GT some love. You know, bring it back to life. So, uh, man, family day ones, stay up to date, man. Um, don't worry about all the fucking, you know, how everybody be like, oh, subscribe to this channel, like this channel. I don't care about all that shit. The reason why we do this shit right here is so that way, if I pass away or whoever helps you work on projects, they pass away, you got something to reminisce on and to look at, you know, the history they they have, you know, what what they did while, they, while they're alive. You know, just to reminisce, just have an entertainment just for us, you know what I mean? Or whoever else wants to watch. But we do not do this shit for subscribers and likes and all that other shit, man. We do this for history. Just to, just to document a little bit of history. Because all the other shit we did, we can't document. We can't, can't fucking talk about all that other shit. Which is good. I love that shit. I love, it. I love that to be that way. You know? So, man, I love you guys. On my day ones, love y'all, man. Much respect. Keep your head up. Keep on conquering good. You know, try to make that shit balance out before you die, man. It's not just cool to just do bad, even even though it was for good intentions. You know, uh, you know how we rock back then. You know, uh, as you know, feed and protect ours. And all the other shit we did in between, man. Even though it was for good intentions, that doesn't mean you don't balance the rest out. Balance that shit out, conquer some good, man. Be a good dad, be a good husband, be a good brother. You know, be a good uncle. You know, be a righteous everything you are to the people you love people you function with man for real shit goes a long way so we're gonna go ahead and crack this shit off oh shit i forgot to show y'all the more before, before we start this shit all right let me pop this let me pop this out real quick all right oh yeah i just want to pop the trim too fuck it pressure washed all this shit off and we're at the car wash so there's hella better there's leaves and gums and all kinds of shit all over you know what I mean after we got all that shit off shit looked nice man it's probably better than any junkyard motherfucking 3000 GT I see on YouTube so far so uh I believe it man they put some love into this uh, before it went on the showroom so 95 came out again 96 they uh it's like, well, been on the show since it came out in 95. After the Momo Edition manufacturing and upgrades and shit. And the owner bought it off the showroom. Going through admin saying he'll pay for whatever fucking, whatever he has to, you know, to take it. So he ended up paying like 85K and drove it off the lot with only 123 uh, fucking miles on it. And all those miles were just from driving it onto the, to the showroom floors, getting it off the showroom floors and... Uh, because uh, Momo, uh, the Momo uh, manufacturing headquarters ported the head and ported the block, they had to do dyno testing. So it's from dyno testing as well. The miles are on. The owner said he drove a VR4. He drove every fucking model of um, 3000 GCs they came out with, and 
it was not fast like this one. Even the twin turbo one wasn't fast like this one. He said the twin turbo one was fast. You know, I for you know in the nineties, but because this one was ported in ported block and whatever else shit they did to it, that shit is quick, bro. That's what he told me. So uh, it was an old veteran man. You know, told him thank you for his service. He came with his uh, veteran hat. You know, OG was cool, man. A white dude. So, uh, yeah, man, we're gonna get this shit cracking. And uh, make sure you guys stay up to date, man. Up to date on this. It's gonna be cool, man. So, family, love you guys once again. Day ones, love you guys too, man. Much respect. Stay progressive, stay elevated. General Custom, I'm gone.